Hi guys, uh, welcome back to uh, my second live stream. Um, if you didn't catch the, the first one, it's currently being uploaded to my YouTube channel, so check it out. Um, you can see all the information Hi there. Um, uh, sorry, just get a bit of echo because I've got my stream going along beside me here. Um, uh, but yeah, please check it out. Um, give me any feedback. Um, but we are going to jump straight into the next part of um, my level gains. Um, so this one we are going to go into mining. Uh, now I've been doing a little bit of uh, reading up on um, how we need to do this. And the first thing I need to get is pickaxes. Now, pickaxes have changed over over time. So... Um, there was quite a recent rework. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the Grand Exchange. Um, I'm going to pick up a series of pickaxes, um, which we can then put onto the tool belt as and when uh, we get to the right levels. Because if I remember rightly, they don't work quite as well as the hatchets do in terms of levelling up as your skills level up. So, I'm currently level 6 mining, um, and again the aim is going to be to try and get to level 50, um, just as we wait for this to kick in at some point, starting to load, okay cool. <laughs> um, I don't know whether it's just the process is going on um, in terms of uploading my video, um, slowing it down a little bit. If it is, uh, last time I checked it was a 95%, so it shouldn't be <laughs> too much longer in going up. Um, but I've had a bit of a break. Um, I've gone out, got a bit of fresh air. Um, let me open this though. Natural light. Um, yeah, so I've had, I've had a bit of a break. Uh, just to get away from the screen for a little while. Okay, right, for some reason this is being extremely slow at loading everything in. So much so I'm not even running from it. These graphics haven't loaded in fully either yet. Um, so, let's wait for them just to kick in a little bit. Okay, so that first best video is now online. I am I'm going to be getting a a thumbnail sorted out for it. Um, so hopefully that'll be up up soon. I'm going to cancel. These processes going on behind. And hopefully this will help. We can go a little bit faster. There we go, we're starting to get there with all the graphics now. Munch is still in his base colours at the moment. But... Okay, I haven't actually started here first off, so let's just go through the quick tutorial. Uh, let's just go for the basics. So this is where we buy and sell stuff, um, it will tell you what you can buy and sell, uh, how much and do all the trading for you. So 
to come with items to sell or money to spend. We've got the money to spend at the moment. Well, not much of it, but we have money to spend. Speak with the clerk at the desk in the corners of the building. They will help set up your bid. When you are setting up a bid, you'll show a guide price for each item. This is just a suggestion. You can offer any amount you like. Step three, clerks will take the item or the money off you and look for someone to complete the trade. This could be very fast or take a couple of days. When the trade is complete, they will send us a message. You'll collect your stuff by the clerks or visiting any banker. We could talk to this guy here if, uh, if we want anything different. Okay, so exchange. So first of all we need a steel pickaxe. We're going for a steel plus one if we can. That's important. Okay, so let's just go for the basic ones instead. <laughs> These will probably come through a little bit easier. There we go. So all the plus one, plus two that's happening on the side of it, um, it just produces a little bit more damage to the rocks um, and helps us mine them faster. Let's see if I can do this one. Nope, that's going to cost too much. <laughs> so let's put mine a little bit more on. So at the moment, I'm not getting through on those. Hi again, Pebble. Um, I am currently in World 68. Um, as you can see, just trying to buy pickaxes. Currently at the Grand Exchange. Uh, so if you want to drop in and say hi. Feel free. So we have our ore box. We need that one. Uh, let's see. Can we get other ore boxes as well? Don't know if we can. Oh. Steal the box. Hopefully that will buy at some point. I uh, don't think we're going to get much else. No, we'll get that one. That's okay. That's fine. So I'll put that in there for now. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. Mm. Whoa. Are you serious? That is amazingly generous. Thank you very, very much. Aww. Thank you, that is going to go a long way of getting me started. Thank you very much. Oh, there are some genuinely nice people on this game. I <laughs> really, really cannot stress that enough. So, thank you very much, Pebbles. That is a great offer for, for starting out. Um, I am going to save as much of that as I can because I want to put it onto something that's expensive, something like prayer or herb law that's, that's going to take... Uh, um, take me a little while to to get but yes that will definitely go a long way in getting getting things I need so thank you very very much and that's very very generous of you uh, for now I'm gonna leave in 
the offers for the pickaxes on the Grand Exchange. Um, and we can make a start with what we have already. So, we are starting out at level 6 in mining. So, not got a massive amount <laughs> right now. And we are going to aim to get where is our first unlock. I think that's going to be at level 10. There we go. Oh, Pebbles has just said that he got given it on a stream earlier today, so he's paying it forward to me. So that is very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. When I have the ability to do that to someone else, I will do. I'll pass it forward to them as well. Okay, right. We're going to head to Berthold, because that is the best place at the moment to do copper and tin ore. Um, we started this on one of our very first videos, uh, learning about mining and smithing. And so this, this is a good place to start up here. Okay, hopefully graphics will kick in shortly. I've stopped a couple of the processes going on behind, behind the scenes, so I think that's helping a little bit with this. So if we want to be in here. Go on, let me go. Okay. So to get us to level ten. We are going to be looking at Having about well, that's starting right from level one. So let's. So I'm looking in at the at the calculator again. Okay. I, can't, I generally can't work out the new calculators. <laughs> so, right, 7xp per hit. So, anytime we see the glowing, uh, the glowing opportunities, we will be going for them. What I'm going to aim to do is try and get roughly equal of, um, Copper and tin, because we can use that for smithing later on. So it's gone up quite quickly. So we're going to come on to the tin or just to try and even it out a little bit. I like the music going on here. <laughs> so along with all the, the rocks um, and all that we're getting, uh, we'll also get these occasionally, uh, geodes. Uh, these can be opened up for gems. Um, uh, to begin with, you used to just be given a gem randomly when you were mining. Uh, now you get these, which which stack, which is quite nice. Uh, right, let's just see where I am. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four, six, eight. One more of those. I'm 
try and switch a little bit between the two, see if I can just even it all up. Oh, just had a request from Pebbles to add as a friend. There we go, I have added you. Uh, I don't know where my friends list is at the moment. <laughs> I always lose that bit when, I, uh, when I'm doing things. So we're going to pop that into there. I think it comes under my social, doesn't it? There we go. Friends list. And private chat I have already. That's fine. So, we are now at level 10 mining. Look at that. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put these into the forge straight away wait not into that let's put them into the furnace first <laughs> uh, so the next one we're going to upgrade it to now so we now go up to iron right where am I going to find iron ore? I think it's near Barrack. Let me have a look. Right. Barrack. Do, do, do. Southwest of Varrock, directly west of the Lodestone. Thank you very much, Pebble. I knew it was one of the two mines there. Because um, there's one just down, down to the east that way, and then there's one this way. But apparently, it's in here. This makes it go really, really blue. Actually, what I need to do... I don't have access to this bank yet. This is uh, something that comes later on. So I have to come up here for the bank. So we're going to need a steel pickaxe now. I need level 20 for that one. Okay. Okay, so we'll leave that in there for now. Do, do, do. Go back into the blue wilderness that's. I think this is remnants of the Halloween event. <laughs> Just turns everything really, really blue. Okay, so yeah, so I'm getting this at a lower rate at the moment. Doing the ironing, apparently, is my is the achievement I've just got. <laughs> I don't like doing ironing. <laughs> I don't want to fight. <laughs> oh, hello. What has he got this time? Ooh, the different pickaxes. Thank you very much. Except, thank you. Okay, so this this is the plus one pickaxes and the missile plus two. So it will keep me going for a bit. Thank you very much. Um, so the extra level that comes with the pickaxe just means you can mine things a little bit faster. 
So I nearly take the rock out in one sweep. <laughs> So as you can see, this goes up a quite a fair chunk each time now. Um, if I was just using the normal iron pickaxe, um, it wouldn't be going up quite as much. And obviously when I was using the bronze one, um, it wasn't going up very much at all. So it's just an extra added added level added into the, to the pickaxe. Okay, so we've got a higher chance of finding these geodes now. Which is good. So, thank you very much, Pebble. Are you saving off now? So what we're looking at... I don't understand this new calculator. It's it's taken in so many different factors that um, it doesn't necessarily say how many you'll fully get. So for now, I'm just going to keep mining <laughs> until I get all the different levels. for this one. So this this is another skill that goes up fairly quickly um, for about the first 30 levels. And it slows down. Um, but as soon as you start getting to level sort of 70, 80, and then into the 90s, it really, really slows down. So, uh, Ah, oh, I think is this Yes, this is tick mining for tick mining. And the idea is to I think, keep this as full as we can for as long as we can. Oh, I can't use that one because that's only a bronze one. Never mind, let's run it all to the bank. We'll store the other pickaxes there as well. Right, I'm going to drop everything in for now. So we've only got another four levels to go on there. Okay, let's try this tick mine again. Another one of those strange rocks that we got with wood cutting. This is the mining version.
put photos on. I think it stopped when I changed rock. So let's just keep going with this one just for a for the minute. Fifteen seconds to go. My sick four tick trick. Maintain maximum stamina for sixty seconds. Yeah, I, I'm not going to have the focus to keep that going up for. <laughs> for hours and hours at a time <laughs> crikey um i know there are people that are they are very very focused and can can do that very very well um i'm not one of those sorry <laughs> i'm quite happy just jipping away at my mining so I may not be the most efficient at doing anything, but I do it my way, and that's what matters. So we've just got two levels to go. Maybe we'll to do it for a little bit, but... I'm going to see, I can't remember if you can use something like an Elder Rune Box, uh, one of the highest Rune Boxes at lower levels, or whether it is based off your mining level. So there we go, level 20 already. So we'll drop these up. At the bank here. Actually what I should be doing is dropping them in the forge. Uh, but we can do that all at the end afterwards. That's not a problem. So we'll drop those in. So oh, that's strange drops. I'm gonna put all these into one tap for now. So we're now at level 20, so we can now take Right, and use pickaxe. Right, let's have a quick look. I'm going to use a little bit of that DP that Pebbles kindly gifted me. And see if I can use. Out for now. Uh, 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 I don't know what looks. Woo! 
Ooh, right there. Yeah, I would not be able to afford that. Before now. Let's see. Let's see if I put it back in. So we have to do it a little bit more. And then we'll also put one in for the rune ore box. Put that one in for a little bit more as well. Right, that's that one. I bought that for one GP. That's quite impressive. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Crikey, I wish everything was one GP. <laughs> okay, so for coal, we need to go to the Lumber Swamp. Um, oh, that was the one that I bought off the G. Okay, that's fine. We'll drop that into the bank on the way back. Rune ore box for one GP. I'm never that lucky. <laughs> okay, let's put it into the bank. Cool. Just checking everything's still going fine in the background, which it is. So I think this is the mine here, isn't it? Okay, so this is where all the coal is. And an achievement too! Ooh, two achievements. Let's see, can I? I can put that all in there. Good, that's fine. That makes my life a little bit easier. So. I need to be going up on coal until level 30. Sounds like we have the strange rock coming in. So this four tick mining, which keeps this bottom, this orange uh, bar quite high, it does seem to increase the speed that you're mining which is good if you're trying to do everything quickly and efficiently So keep going with the Rockatunities. No, I don't think of the names. 
Brockertunity is what came out as what these are. So, excuse me, I'm going to eat some melon. My backpack is full. That's alright, my ore box isn't. <laughs> so this, this is exactly what this, these ore boxes are for. Um, you can store... Initially, you can store a hundred... There's a hundred of each... item. Each of, each of the different ores in it. Um, and then you can increase the capacity to 120 of each. Um, I think that comes with a level and how many you've mined, I think. Um, and you can increase it further by completing um, an achievement, which is called Everything is Awesome. Play on words there, um, which means you have to. I think it's you have to mine. Is it a hundred or a hundred and twenty of each, of each ore that's available? And once you've done that, you increase the capacity of the box to hold one hundred and forty of each, each item. So in time, that's well worth doing. Um, and obviously you can't go out and do the everything is awesome task because you need different levels to uh, to unlock all the different ores. So I think the earliest you're able to do that is I think ninety level ninety five, um, which is the the highest ore you can mine. We've got a long way to go, we're only level 25. <laughs> so, got a little while before we're going to get that far. I switch out my snack mix this time. <laughs> I've gone for grapes and melon this time, so a little, little bit healthier. <gasps> what are you? Are you any of you guys using anything as escape fuel at the moment? Um, what are the best snacks to have when you're when you're gaming? Let me know. I know. I know. There's people that will have pizza on the go, people that just have uh, maybe just packets of crisps on the go, um, also think, let, me, let me know what snacks you would have if you're doing, uh, if you're doing streaming, <laughs> okay, this, this guy, this is good, um, he's very creatively used his name, can't get pet, has just received a pet, so well done bud. <laughs> He's received Herbert the Herb Law Pet. Does that mean he has to change his name now? As can sometimes get pet. 
Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just reading up where the next place we have to go to is. Um, at level 30. We are going to be doing one of the... The newer... Definitely worth doing this this four tick mining, I think. Um, if you have the concentration, I personally have the concentration of a peanut, um, which is why you'll often see me drift off and be looking at something else as well. <laughs> um, but yes, if, if you've got the concentration to sit at and do the tick mining then do because it's it the xp drops are actually quite good if you're keeping the momentum going and definitely also switch to the to the sparkly rocks more levels to go. <laughs> well, I hope everyone is having a good DXP event. We're currently just over, what was it, about 27, 28 hours into the event at the moment. Um, I'm sure there are lots and lots of levels been gained over the last, the last 24 hours alone. Uh, and it is quite, it's quite interesting because... If you take a look at the RuneScape live streams, um, where where they produce their own um, like little chat chats that they do, quite often after a DXP event, they will release data as to how many people got got levels, how many levels were gained um, in in each skill and how many pets were were found and things like that, which is, is quite interesting when you look across all of the different players and how much work they do put into to DXP.
There we go, level 30 mining. Look at that. Even Munch is happy. <laughs> okay, so I didn't check this at level 20, but we're now starting to get lots of different requirements for quests, um, which we will... I will do another quest video. That is my aim, but I'm going to be doing that after DXP. Or at least once my DXP has run out. Whichever comes first. Uh, so we are now up to level 30. And I was jumping ahead of myself. I was saying we were going to look at one of the new Eurox that's actually next level. So level 30 is Mithril which we will be going back to Varrock and we will be going to the eastern site. We went to the west one to begin with, we're now going to go to the east. So we were over there just now, we're not going to go this way. So I can put all of that into that box there. So there are other people that are mining here as well. Oh, I didn't swap my pickaxe. Hang on a second. Let's go back. <laughs> Whoops. Now the beauty of the, the ore box is that it doesn't just hold 100 or 120 or 140 of the ores. You can hold 100 of each of the ores up to the level of the box. What I mean by that is if you have a bronze ore box, you will only be able to hold copper and tin. If you have, like this one, the rune ore box, you can hold copper, tin, iron, coal, mithril, adamantite, and luminite, and rune. Um, if you have the... Elder ore box, the, the big one we were trying to buy earlier, um, you will then be able to hold all of the ores in it. I hope that makes sense to people. So if you've only got a mithril ore box, you will only be able to hold all of the ores you can mine up to mithril. Let's go back now that we've got the right pickaxe. Hopefully, <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. Now we get some spooky music going. <laughs> well, we're kind of out of Halloween now though, aren't we? <coughs> the Halloween event um, is going on until... Tomorrow? I think is the last day of the event. Um... 
So all, all of the challenges you can do in... I'm not going to go for that. It's too far to run away. Um, all the challenges... Unless I can go around this side. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. Um, all of the challenges that you can do in Drainer Manor, uh, you have up until the 8th to... To get those sorted. Thirty one. Hello, unicorn. It's quite strange when you see sort of creatures that are right from the beginning of the game. You realise how much sort of the graphics have changed over the years. Um. Because compare compare that unicorn to to Muncher behind me, and it it does look so much of an older style. So hopefully it'll get a graphical re re rework one day. I'm sure there is an art team that will uh, work on it one day. <laughs> Level 32. So you can see how the levels going up has now slowed back down again. Because we're now over level 30. Hmm. I need to think of a good thumbnail I can use for these live streams. Hmm, what can I do? So working in the background. Awesome.
Okay, so just checking a few things on Twitch there. Eh? Oh, I agree. This is hard work. <laughs> When we've got to level 50, we'll gather up all the geodes that we've got. We'll open them at the end as well. See what we've got just from the from the 50 levels. Munch looks so happy with himself just sitting there, doesn't he? <laughs> I wonder if those two over there are doing, uh, going for any particular level. My backpack is full. Probably this time around I'm going to have to go to a bank and empty the ore box. Um, just for how many it will take for me to get to a level. So. so we shall do that as the time comes. any people that have uh, joined me today on my stream I'd like to thank you for coming in and checking in even if it's only for a minute or two um, I appreciate the views um, feel free to drop any any comments below as well um, and uh, even if it is just saying hi let me know what you're up to on DXP have you got any goals that you want to get to um, have you got any already? I know there are some people that already got through uh, what they want to do. Uh, but be sure to check out my social media. Um, it'll let you know when I put up any videos online. And uh, I'm also trying to get the habit of letting people know when I'm actually going on live stream as well. <laughs> I keep forgetting that bit. Um, so busy setting everything else up but I forget, forget to let people know so uh, see if you check out any of my social media just uh, drop a follow and uh, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing then feel free if you don't you don't do you <laughs> But no, I do appreciate everybody that's come in uh, so far today. Uh, I do appreciate appreciate every single person that's come in, said hello, or even if you just sat and watched, uh, listening to me rabbit on to myself. And no, seriously, I do appreciate it. As somebody who's still very new to all this, um, it, it can be very daunting having to get used to talking to yourself. So the fact that anybody actually does come and watch, it means a lot. Okay, level 35, so we're slowly edging towards that magical level 40 mark.
This is slightly confused me. I haven't quite figured this one out yet. But when I click a rock, it also... The cursor also appears. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just looking back on the live stream. Um, but when I click on the rock, it also appears up in this area as well. I don't know why. I wonder if that's a bug, whether that's meant to or not. I wonder if it's doing it from a different angle that I'm maybe seeing it above the rock. Is it signaling to the rock, but it's just placed very high? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's bizarre. I shall leave some feedback just in case. It's always best to, you never know whether it's a bug or not, so. Is this a bit? Don't ever do that. I only bit that grape once and then swallowed it. <laughs> That's dangerous. Don't do that. Ooh. Grapes are a health hazard. They're supposed to be healthy, but they're dangerous too. <laughs> oh, damn. Level 37! And that part is full again. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have already started to upgrade the ore box. Um, I'm currently at the right level that I can have 120 ore of each ore in the box. So that will help us here a little bit extra. Now unfortunately you can't have more than one ore box on the go. What I mean by that is not just having one or sort of two or three rune ore boxes it means you can't have a rune ore box and a bane ore box and a elder rune ore box um, because when you deposit the ore in the box it gets shared across all the ones you own so if you put in 120 mithril into the rune ore box, you will also have 120 mithril in the other ore boxes as well. Now that doesn't mean to say it's doubling or tripling what you physically mind. It just means it's a shared resource. So if you then take 10 out of one box, it takes 10 out of all the boxes. 
I probably haven't explained that right, but <laughs> you can only have one, one orb box on the go. So always try and take the best one you can. Uh, so I've got the rune one on the go at the moment. Um, but just have the one in your inventory. It's a waste of time having, having extras because it won't work. Two more levels to go. So we now have 120 mithril in the box and everything else will just stay in our inventory. I wonder if there's anyone else mining, doing mining challenges today. If you've got a goal for your mining today, uh, let me know. I won't be able to join you yet, I'm not high enough levels. <laughs> because you're probably going to be way better than I am. But I do wish anyone luck. If you've got a goal that you're aiming for over the next few days, I do wish you all the best of luck with it. I hope you get all the capes and all the pets that you're after. That would be funny, actually. If I got a pet over this, over this DXP event, that would be funny because they're, ex they're they're rare at the best of times. But to get one at a low level is not unheard of but is very 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 rare so i've only got one more of these to get i'll go to the bank there we go right we have one more level to go actually i can go to the bank on this side can i do, do, do. There is a bank near the lodestone, unfortunately. I can't use it yet. Um, because that is uh, the quest adventure uh, area. So the more quests you do, the more quest points you get, you can unlock different things to help you along your journey. Empty. So what I want to do, I want to bring these in with this. Actually no, let's start a new one. Let's uh, we'll put the geodes in there as well. There we go. So this is going to be mining. Do, do, do. Mining. So we have 38 geodes to open already. Oh, 
excuse me. Oh, another pet drop on this world. Okay, so the pet drops we're getting at the moment are all for this world. Ones in red will come out on on any world. Um, but for this world, Margin Doge, I hope I said that right, um, has received Baby Yaga's house, um, which is a construction pet. If I remember right, it's a very cute one. It's a little little house on legs. If I remember right. Yeah, a little house on chicken legs. As you do. Hi there. And we're nearly there for our final level. Well, final level to level 40. As with woodcutting, we are going to aim to go to level 50. Mini Popo has achieved 2 billion total XP. That is an amazing achievement. 2 billion XP. But you've got to have quite a few skills at maximum XP for that. All right, there we go, level 40 sorted. Right, let's go back to the bank. Do, 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 do. Cool. I don't know why, I just had this sudden feeling none of my audio was on properly. <laughs> I know it is, it's okay. Quit checking on OBS and we know we're okay. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, so Empty. I don't think there's anything else in there at the moment. Well, that's fine. So let's switch out to our highest pickaxe. That one. Yep, that's my highest one. Cool. Right, okay, uh, just checking where I am. 
level 40. We can either do adamantite rocks or we can do lumite rocks. I think for the moment we will try lumite rocks because then you well newer to the game so we are going to go to Falador and it gives us a new area to look at as well so and then we're gonna go up into the Dwarven Mine. And we went in here for the Halloween event. Didn't go very far in, because we didn't need to. Climbed up the ladder there. Okay, let's have a look. I don't know exactly where in here it is. This is a massive resource area. There we go, there's the beam right here. Ah, I'm going to die from scorpions. <laughs> I'm trying to hide in the corner here as much as I can. It's just that one that's gonna kill me. <gasps> there we go. So if I hide here, he's not gonna get me. Hopefully. Now I could just kill him, he's quite high level so I'd have to be careful. The only problem is they tend to respawn so it would only be a temporary reprieve. But I think I've got him trapped over there so that's handy. We'll try and keep out of the way of all the scorpions as much as we can. Because <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> now what I am going to work on next time I have a bit of a break um, which will be once I get to level 50 on mining um, I'm going to try and see if I can pull in my official intro and outro music um, to go with the live streams um, I have a very wonderful piece of music um, which was created for me uh, by some very talented individuals um, and they produced a wonderful piece of music for me which I if you've watched any of my videos on YouTube you will hear it at the beginning and the end of my videos so I'm hoping to pull that in create a nice long looped piece of music um, to go at the beginning and end of uh, the live streams just whilst I'm finalising all the details for the live streams and obviously once I close everything down as well. Uh, 
Oh, he's coming to get me. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Thank you. That's quite sneaky, <laughs> being that far out from him. And I'm just out of reach. These ones are okay. These lower level scorpions are fine. They don't like to eat people as much. It's just the darker ones I need to keep an eye on. Okay. Right, so that's all full for the first time. How is that scorpion from right over there tracked on me? It isn't now, thankfully. Up to our second level being done. There we go. Stay up there, Mr. Scorpion. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Oh, I need to do something to keep awake. Let's eat. <laughs> so how are you guys keeping awake when you're doing things like this? What is your energy supply that you get? most people will probably go for energy drinks and caffeine and things like that.
Okay, nearly done with our second inventory. Yeah, second inventory. There we go. So we keep going. <laughs> Stay there. Good little scorpion. <laughs> Right, level 43. Cool. Right, unfortunately, I am going to have to cut this live stream just a little bit shorter uh, than planned, uh, as I need to go and make some phone calls. I will be back later this afternoon. Keep an eye out on my social media channels over there. Um, I will put an announcement out when I'm near to coming back. We will finish off um, getting up to level 50 on mining and then we are going to go in and do we'll either do fishing or we'll do fire making let me know come visit my social media let me know which skill you want me to do do you want me to do fishing or do you want me to do fire making um, I'll set up a poll as well um, and you can add your vote in um, so yeah, so hopefully I will see you in a little while. Um, I'm sorry I've had to cut this one short a little bit. Um, but hey, life happens. There we go. So I will see you very soon. Take care everyone and good luck on all your XP gains. Thank you very much for watching and taking part. See you soon.